We did it, guys. We're back. Um, thank you so much. Uh, please, um, all the comments started because uh, the miracles of life have happened, which is that uh, I have started on time and before time. Seven minutes early. It's a miracle of science and technology. And um, I generally think that uh, Andrew Tate should tweet to me saying that you've done it, sort of. You've done it. Um, um, uh, CFC Blue says early OP. This is a great moment for my life. CFC Blues also says WTF, absolutely. I have achieved great success at a young age, friends. This is uh, incredible that it took uh, uh, 200 episodes for me to be early for one of these episodes. Uh, this is a couple of things for those of you who are watching. Uh, uh, this is, of course, Sridhar Venkatraman is going to be joining us today. Just to mess with everybody's head, guys. Uh, uh, Robin will be joining us uh, shortly. A couple of things I would like to announce is that we've started a Telegram group just to sort of uh, uh, keep everybody... Um, Connected. Uh, I just discovered this yesterday. So I'm putting the link for my Telegram channel as well as my group chat right below. Uh, so feel free to join that. And uh, uh, yeah, if you if you feel uh, if you feel interested in such things, please do that. Okay, uh, we have about an hour with my guest and it's going to be fun. Um, so yeah, we have, we have a lot of things to talk about. Uh, he's, uh, just, he's freshly retired. Freshly. I don't know how fresh his retirement is at the moment, uh, but uh, He's now uh, playing leagues across the world and making uh, billions of dollars per day. Uh, just one of my, uh, uh, I, I would say, one of my closest friends in the country, you know. We'll just say that. Just put it out there. Maybe it'll happen. <laughs> uh, terrific cricketer. He's a World Cup winner. He's done so much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Mr. Robin Utupa. Hello, hello, sir. Hey. Good evening. Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm good. I'm good. Mr. Yeah. On Time. Uh, it's a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to end the year and then start the year again. Yeah, and listen, uh, we have to clarify about yesterday. Okay, yeah. and I we have, we have yeah. to clarify about yesterday. Because <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> okay, so here's what happened. Okay, I, I I scheduled the line, and then you were obviously busy because I was like sending you WhatsApp, and you're like, yeah, because you know when it's going to happen. And then my wife tells me she's like, listen, um, like after the live gets over, I was like, he didn't come. And my wife was like, yeah, on the phone, he said 30th. I was, I was listening to you on the call. And so there's only one person we have to blame here, Robin. And it's my wife. I woke um, up in the and... morning. <laughs> <laughs> I woke up in the morning. from yeah. And because and, 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 I checked my schedule before sleeping. And like, I knew it was 30th because we were supposed yeah. to go um, to take the kids somewhere on the 30th. So the plan with, with Sheets was, okay, we'll finish the live and then we'll change and then we'll go. And yeah. um, so when so when I woke up in the morning, there these messages. I'm like, am I hallucinating? What has happened? <laughs> and I was like, this is not right. I like I went back to the messages and I'm like, no, we didn't. Like on the messages it says 28 because we were like haggling about the dates, right? Yeah. And yeah. and then I remember vividly because uh, we had a plan set for 30th for the kids. So I was like, I'm sure. Like I know 30th. And I said, check with sheets again. She, she's like, yeah, we have it tomorrow. I'm like, what the hell did the guy do for an hour online? <laughs> I, I did all sorts of nonsense. I got Sridhar Venkatraman, who's a comedian friend of mine, and we we pretended he was you. And my dude, my wife is furious with me because she's like, you moron! Like, like you're making you're making your guests seem like the villain when you are the villain all along. <laughs> yes, I agree. I like, so I accept full on? responsibility for the stupidity. So yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. So I generally am like, so for me, I'm not a morning person, right? I'm like, I, I yeah. prefer the prefer the nights and, and Sheets and I are very different. Like she's a morning person. So she's up bright and early. So is my son, Nolan. He's up bright and early. And by the looks of it, my daughter's also a morning person. So, uh, so I know when I have to wake up in the morning, it, it kind of kind of gnaws into me for a couple of days before that. So I know. So like, okay, I have one more, one more uh, late, uh, late sleep in. So I'm like, okay, 30th. Yeah. And then I woke up yesterday. I'm like, did I, did I make a mistake? And then when I messaged you, I'm like, ah, that's what happened. Yeah, you just, you're like, you're dealing with a moron. That's what happened. There. <laughs> Not a very intelligent person. But by the way, it was so comedic. Interesting. It was certainly comedic. Yeah, yeah it was comedic. We got Sridhar to pop in. And it was and like, I was sending frantic messages to all my friends. And then I sent them messages back saying, hey guys, I screwed up. And they're like, Saurabh, this is so typically something you do. <laughs> so I was like, great. I guess that's my <laughs> reputation of being an idiot. Uh, but it's interesting that you mentioned because like, I always like my son is, uh, is, uh, is obsessed with cricket. And he's, uh, he's going to pop in and ask you a question at some stage. Today. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
Yeah, and I also have to uh, like throw in a disclaimer, huh? Um, yeah. So it's it's breakfast time in Dubai, and my son has just woken up. So he yeah. will pop in, and he will just kind okay. of, you know, he, he might just hover around here. So uh, yeah. please don't mind, guys. <laughs> oh no, please, please. I would love for your son to hover as well. Um, but uh, I like the fact that because of I think uh, day and night cricket, even as a cricketer. you hate mornings because my perception yeah. is that cricketers wake up at 5:45 in the morning and now with yeah. with yeah it's way different so yeah yeah it's only for like red ball cricket or, or you know four day cricket right and and with the way things have been with the pandemic and all that's been a while yeah as in the last i think the last one you told me a few is perhaps 2019 2019 yeah 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 and then i haven't played i didn't play after that because it's 2020 and 2021 was there was barely any cricket and i couldn't do the bubble in 2021 so i, I didn't like i knew i wouldn't be able to do it with my with my mental health thing because the kind of restrictions that they kind of imposed on us in domestic cricket was was really really hard and i was certain i didn't want to do it um, so i opted out of this one 2021 and then sure enough 2022 i man it's nuts i didn't even think i'd retire in 2022 but 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 i did so it was, it was a little crazy honestly Yeah, we 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 got to talk about that. Um, by the way, we've already got Gandhar who's saying, "Why is uh, Shridhar here? Where is Robin?" So this is the one that we're going to talk about. Um, okay. Uh, we, I mean, obviously, we both uh, woke up to uh, to some uh, some bad news today, yeah. which is uh, Rishabh Pant's uh, car accident. Uh, I mean, you obviously uh, have a very personal connection. I mean, me as a as a fan, I'm, I'm already w- woken up on the wrong side of the bed because of this. um so yeah i just uh, have to talk about i hope uh, he's doing better and all of that yeah i was just terrible it's just terrible yeah as in uh, i was just with him a couple of days ago and and uh, it's it, honestly not not the greatest news to wake up to it's just so disturbing it kind of kind of shakes you to your bones a little bit uh, but i'm just glad immediately i wanted to find out if he was actually stable um i saw the state of the car and I, it, it, it's just crazy that 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 he survived like he survived that crash with with what he has um we don't know all details yet but i'm very certain that uh, and i know for sure that he's stable so which is what is most important he'll recover he'll get back to playing cricket but it's important that we just send him the, the right energy the right prayers you know and that he recovers completely and you know it's quite sad yeah, but as in knowing knowing rishab uh, I'm not surprised he broke that wind screen and got out uh, uh, because uh, he's a strong bloke. That kid, he's he's really yeah. strong, um, and that presence of mind would have kicked in. You know, that fight or flight nature would have kicked in, and and he would have gotten out. Oh, but he bro- he broke the wind screen. I I didn't I didn't follow that. That's yeah yeah yeah, um, yeah he did because uh, I think the car immediately caught on fire, and then I think he broke the wind the wind screen. My God, out. man. Yeah. Oof. So yeah, I mean, I think all of us, everybody, wishing him a speedy recovery. Speedy recovery. One of my yeah. yeah. Uh, one of my favorite cricketers. I'm just I've I've met him once in my life, and he just seemed like a sweet, fun. He just always seems like a sweet, fun guy. So yeah, I mean, and also a hardworking dude, man. My God, uh, like I mean, I, listen, I mean, yeah. So so absolutely, uh, uh, completely wish him well. Yeah. Yeah, he's 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 an extremely hardworking kid, and uh, what's what I love about him is that um, as much as he has matured into a man, uh, he hasn't lost sight of the child in him. Um, and he's and I think what I what I truly like about him, um, and I'm telling Sheets just after spending time with him is that I love the fact that um, he's so clear in his mind as to who he is and who he wants to be, uh, not just as a cricketer but even as a human being. And I think that's what Uh, I love about I love about him the most, and the fact that he's so he's got a lot of clarity about himself as a cricketer, uh, and he and he's a he's a massive team man. Um, you you just know, and 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 guys who are team men, you don't um, you don't really uh, have to spend like you you can see you can see it come through in in conversation, and it doesn't necessarily have to be about cricket, uh, and and that's incredible. Uh, you know, uh, it's it's a very special quality uh, in match winners. Who can who can do that? Who can who can have that trait of being absolute team man? Yeah, uh, I listen. I'm 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 sure he'll be he'll be back up in no time. Yeah, I wish him absolute, absolutely the best. Uh, I, I've I've been a Rishabh Pant fan <laughs> since like eons and eons. Have I ever told you the story about the first time I met him? Uh, we were doing no. an event for for Delhi Daredevils, 
and uh, it was like i think for all the uh, daikin air conditioners uh, dealers who have right. no idea about the ipl so, <laughs> so i'm standing with rishabh i think he's like 19 or 20 at the time we were having some dumb conversation about some of the uncles around okay and uh, one of the uncles comes up to me like beta very good show bahut acha kiya aapne and then dusra rishabh pant who had had a fantastic year in the ipl and he was third on the list of run getters and he said beta tum kya karte ho and rishabh is like good this event is for me <laughs> ഫ്രീസ്റ്റ്രേറ്റ് <laughs> that that's the kind of person that he is so you know i'm yeah. certain he'll be fine uh, and knowing knowing his positive mindset and and how he is as a person i'm certain he'll he'll be back on his feet and playing again very very soon no absolutely absolutely uh, vishum the absolute uh, best uh, and yeah that's hi me. hi you want to say hi that's uh, sarab ang sarab pant say hi what's up say good morning say good morning Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, young man. How is things? I hope everything's well in your end, and I hope you have a great plan for the day ahead. I hope you're achieving many things and climbing mountains and skies. Are you climbing you mountains and skies today? Yeah. <laughs> What is that? He 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 won some toy gun at at an arcade yesterday. So he's just oh. you know that's his fav- fav- new favorite thing at the moment. Oh you wow congrats on the win. Yeah congrats on the win. How did you win this uh, Nolan right? Nolan Nolan yeah. Yeah Neil Nolan yeah. Well, how, yeah. So Neil, how, how, uh, how did how did you win the gun? I when I was in the 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 So you know how you win these tickets at these arcades, right? When you win games. Listen, so he wants listen, so many things. That's amazing, Nolan. <laughs> you have listen. My my son, Nolan. I have a son who's uh, Vikram Aditya. He's going to be here shortly. He wanna he wanna uh, season ball. Uh, fr- from doing <laughs> exactly what he just said. Cricket ball. <laughs> yeah, it's a cricket ball. It's a cricket you ball. You want a cricket ball? Yeah. Hard cricket ball. Very hard. hard. Yeah, very hard. Yeah, it's actually a soft okay. one. You can you can also play with it. Yeah. Yeah, really, really hard. <laughs> you had a cricket ball, buddy. You know how how hard a cricket ball is. Yeah, but I lost the white ball. Okay, it's fine. Yeah. You lost the white ball. He lost the white ball. Oh man, listen, <laughs> I, I I I have to order balls for my son every week, and he comes to me mm-hmm. like, can you order eighty five more? So Nolan, if you can send across eighty five balls to my house, that'll be very nice. Um, just just trade the gun and send me eighty five balls. Is that possible? You, get, you send him eighty-five balls. No. <laughs> ah, come on, Nolan. Don't be so greedy. Come on, send me. You send me six, so you that's perfect. Great. So that's the deal. Yeah, send you six. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Let's go eat breakfast. Hey. Yeah. Let's go eat breakfast. Oh, wow. Eating the gun and all. Wow. Look at the look at the adventure. <laughs> Dude, you you also did the arcade scam or what? I did the arcade scam and across I think four turns of playing video games, we finally got enough to get him the the season ball that he wanted. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro, it's it's uh, it's a life save. It's a life saver here in in Dubai. It's and yeah, uh, and th- it's just a great way to get him to spend time and 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 kind of expend his energy. Um, because right now it's a little nippy in Dubai and it's cold and. Uh, You can't take him to the water because it's too cold for him. We took him to the beach yesterday, and he wasn't having it. You want to hear? Oh, the, yeah, perfect weather. Okay, I just want to tell everybody who's joining in. We're going to have a, a few, a lot of questions popping in for Robin. So keep the super chats, etc., etc., coming. I will try and answer them. <laughs> and uh, also uh, give likes because uh, more people will tune in. Uh, we have fans yeah. of yours, uh, Robin, who are these uh, two young gentlemen. Oh, wow! One of these happens to me by children. Uh, yeah, wait one. <laughs> Right here, what's happening? Okay. Yeah. Um. That's Robin Othpa. This is Riyanch. Hi. Riyanch, you have a question. Hi, Riyanch. Robin, you want to Hi. How are you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm doing good. Yeah. How old are you? What? 
How old are you? How old I'm are you, Baba? You're seven years old. That's awesome. You're up early in the morning. Oh no, it's already eleven o'clock. Sorry, I keep thinking we're you can hear the same it? time zone. One second. Can you hear me now? Yeah, he can hear you. See, uh, he, he, that's his son, Nolan. What? This yeah, is, his son. That's Neil. his son. This is Neil Nolan. Yeah. And that's Riyash. Neil Nolan. And, yeah. uh, Right. Riyash, you have a question. You have a question as a professional journalist. You have a question for for Robin Uthappa. Yes. Is is there a of shot course. that if 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 you bowl a full toss and can you like defend it? Is there any type of defense for that ball? For the full shot, for the full ball, yeah, hundred percent. For the full toss, it's very easy to just kind of pat the ball down. You just kind of watch it and okay. then you just dab it down. Easy, very very easy. I know sometimes it's very See? tempting to hit a like a full toss. But sometimes uh, the wiser thing to do, if if if, uh, uh, if if you if you see the ball late, is just defend it. It's very easy. Okay. I'm gonna make sure you keep the ball down. That's all. There you go. Yes, sir. And now let's bring on this uh, this next young man, who's my own personal child. Um, hi, personal child. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> What's hi, your name? Vikram. How are you doing, buddy? Good. <laughs> How do you, you have a question Vikram? for Robin? How old are you? Seven. You're just seven. You have a question oh, for good, Robin? You've been, they've been composing questions for two days now. So, uh, what's the question? <laughs> yeah, what's the joke? You got a joke. Let's, let's yeah, I'll tell the joke. <laughs> if you are not joke. a cricketer, what would you be? Oh, man. Vikram, I, I honestly don't know. Because cricket is all I know. What would I be? Not tell you the joke. I'll tell you exactly the joke. Uh -huh. In, in, in... <laughs> <laughs> so Neil says, "I'd be a, I'd be a live commentator apparently." <laughs> yeah, yeah, live commentator. So still related to cricket in a roundabout way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I would, I would actually do something cricket related if uh, or sport related. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would actually probably do. Uh, I'd actually yeah. probably play like some other right? sport, maybe hockey or tennis or something like that. If not cricket, it would have been sport for you, for me. It would have been sport, yeah. Okay, you have a joke to tell? Yeah, you already told. Are you forgot the second part? What second part? I'm not telling you. Okay, okay. Okay, chalo done. Say bye. Say bye. Thanks bye. for coming, guys. Bye. Bye. Okay, Neil. Time for breakfast. Yeah. Say bye. Say bye. Say so, Say bye. Bye. Bye, Neil. See, I have fun with the gun and have uh, I eat lot of uh, 19 watermelons. Um, <laughs> or whatever it is that you eat. <laughs> Enjoy, okay. I'm, I'll I'll finish this and come. Yeah. This Sorry. turned into a very 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 child friendly show. We have a Nickelodeon uh, oh, uh, nice. sponsored by <laughs> this sport. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, lots uh, lots to yes. talk about. I uh, we have uh, many things to talk about. I want to talk to you about a couple of things. I mean, I think uh, I would love to talk to you about Jai Devanathkar because what mm. a fantastic story, right? I mean, uh, 12 years apart uh, is 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 uh, basically like waiting for his first Test wicket. <clears throat> Like I, mean, I can't even imagine the anxiety that he's gone through of like waiting 12 years to get a test wicket and then he does and he does it like tremendously well. Yeah, I think what a journey, right? I think uh, I think it's one of those special journeys again uh, within Indian cricket that that and it's uh, it's a testimony of of you know you, of what your convictions can deliver for your uh, for you. Um, and I remember I played for Saurashtra for a couple of years and even at that point he was very driven. He's making the big bucks, bucks in the IPL, but um, and I'm telling you, those those Rajkot wickets are placid, bro. They are so hard to get wickets on for a fast bowler, but he would have the ability uh, to actually pick wickets on those kind of wickets, right? And uh, I think if, if I'm not wrong, the 2019 season um, or was it the 21 season? He got 70 wickets in that season. Uh, 68 or 70 wickets in Ranji Trophy, and that is no joke for a fast yeah. bowler in Indian cricket. That is no mean feat, and um, <clears throat> I think one of the secrets to his success is the fact that he's in a very happy place in his life. Uh, he met his wife around the same time; they got married, very much in love, uh, and she's kind of brought in a, a sense of oomph in his in his in his own life and his and his just his approach to life and. Generally, a very happy person, but I think just made him happier and brought him to a great place mentally, emotionally, and which which is also so relevant in in stacking up good performances. You you want to be you ideally want to be in a great place, 
and uh, he's been able to find that space and keep that space for a, for a, for the last few years and um i think just the fact that he's been captain of sarashtra and taking responsibility and led from the front has <clears throat> also added value to the extent that he's been able to bring the best out of him and inspire the best out of uh, his, his teammates around him um and out of experience i got to tell you that sarashtra cricket team uh, is an extremely fun and happy and and caring cricket unit um they are honestly brothers in arms um and they are a family within that group um uh, although they have <clears throat> uh, great facilities within Ra- within the, their, their association in in the stadium there's not many many other facilities there but they work extremely hard and this guy leads from the front he and pooji lead from the front and uh, i'm just so ecstatic for him that he's been able to make Uh, believe and 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 he's very he's been very open about his belief about making that test come back right and yeah. i'm glad and genuinely earned like he's earned that comeback it's not it's not been handed to him in any way shape or form and i think that's a great story for indian cricket that uh, you know through it all you know uh, he was able to create a space for himself within that fast bowling unit because we've seen how quickly and how soon they keep changing fast bowlers within the indian setup uh yeah. and today not just fast bowlers but i think everyone within the group right uh for so for for for, Dij- for jd to kind of achieve that i think it's incredible and who does it yeah and he and, and, and i don't know if you know a comedian <laughs> called rahul dua so the the I running do. joke is been that rahul dua and jaydev anathar look the same and then they did a ig reel together and i think they uh, both yeah both their I careers are, are are going up up at the same time so i think it's a conspiracy so i think the key is that <laughs> to get successful as a comedian you have to look like some kind of cricketer so i will i will try and uh, uh, i will try and look more like murli karthik <laughs> is my own plan <laughs> <laughs> but but saurashtra man is doing bigger, i think bro. yeah i have to get get much bigger yeah and i have to wear that uh, the thing that he wears here the beads the, the, yeah, the, the krishna beads, beads. Yeah. the mm. krishna beads yeah, yeah so i have to i have to get all spiritual and find some 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 peace in life um okay we have we have a lot of questions popping in um okay you know what let's just get this out of the way because i think this is the this is the prime question that everybody is going to talk about which is the standard questions kl rahul rohit sharma virat kohli rahul dravid these are the questions that anybody will ask let's get this out of the way just everybody like should all of them retire should everybody in the indian team just retire right now so melvin matthews question is what is your opinion on people and experts suggesting retiring kohli and rohit from t20i well i think retirement is a very personal choice i don't think yeah. uh, you know anyone should have a say in anybody's retirement <clears throat> um but i do think that it's time for young blood um and i think um <clears throat> when you have stalwarts like these two and and taking nothing away from their um, from their from their abilities and performances uh and what they've done for india uh, but at the world cup at the highest stage they they've had they have they've had plenty of opportunities to be able to win that and do it their way and for whatever reason it has not come through so perhaps it's 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 time to try and try young blood and 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 see what they can deliver because because when we played the t20 world cup for the first time in 2007 um we were just thrown in and given an opportunity and we were really keen to make make a difference and uh, we were able to in a, in a big, big way which is kind of change the way change the whole trajectory of indian cricket so um i do think even before that it can even come about there must be consistency with with the kind of players that are given they should be given opportunities and i think uh, i think th- those are the things that need kind of amending and changing and more than anything else like if 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 you're going to be sure that in 2024 that these are the guys who are going to play t20 cricket then you you just play them they play every t20 ic uh, series leading up to the world cup right uh, without a break um because now there's no pandemic it's not hard on your mental health um you, you can you, your families can go with you uh, so there are a lot of those 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 side benefits that don't take away from your mind right um <clears throat> there are no lo- there are no lockdowns you're not in a bubble uh, so i think everyone like if as in even before the 2024 world cup i think just the 2023 world cup whoever's going to be playing they, i think everyone should play consistently leading up to the world cup no one should take a break and i don't think this chopping and changing is is actually working um i don't think you know guys youngsters coming in 
uh, performing and then the seniors come in and then they so which is why i feel like uh when when the youngsters come in they perform really well and then when the seniors come back in they have to wait or some other somebody else gets dropped and i think that chopping and changing is just kind of causing confusion and i think if they have consistency with the guys the the kind of squad that's going to play you pick 20 and then you just rotate within those guys you don't go beyond them and then there's there should be communication within that group that this is your first 11 these are backup players for this period i think with with the with the kind of talent that we have in our country i think the fact that we are chopping and changing too much um, through every other series or every series just causes a lot of confusion because suddenly ishan kishan's in this in the squad and then uh, is in the playing 11 after his double hundred and someone like uh, shikhar dhawan after one lean series gets the boot it defeats it it defeats reason for me because he is the third highest hundred getter uh for india in odi cricket uh at the moment so <clears throat> how do you justify that that omission um and what is the communication that's gone to him nobody knows uh, and he was the captain of your side when none of the seniors were playing so it just makes it just creates such an so much room for 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 so much talk to happen that can cause insecurity it's not what message you're sending to one person it's what message you're sending to the entire group right um so me the dropping of kuldeep yadav after that match oh my god yeah, yeah it was <laughs> preposterous to be honest that yeah. i was like what's the word like for me what is the word the yeah. word for me was preposterous it's just you cannot do that like I, it's it's not done at all because it's not it's not what message you sent to kuldeep but it's what message you sent to the group as whole yeah right so it means you've sent a message categorically to 15 or 20 people saying that you could be the man of the match in your previous game but if you don't fit into the plan so to speak you may not play the next game so what does my performance account for account for yeah you know it just sends the wrong message across the board 100% i i enjoyed his batting as well i mean he seems to have like I, i'm a massive a, deep fan of this yeah He seems so much faster. He Kuldeep seems more accurate. Kuldeep is also one of those guys, right? Yeah, he's yeah. He's also one yeah. of those guys where you feel like, man, you wish he got more opportunities. Man, you wish he yeah. was backed a little bit more. Because we saw what he could produce when he played consistently with with MS behind the stumps and and the way he was performing. Like he had, he was a mystery bowler, and suddenly out of the yeah. blue, we decided he's not, and then he was gone, right? And then he had injuries and all of that, but he came back and he's earned his position again in that Test side, right? and he's been successful he's won a man of the match he's worked really hard on his batting he was not a muck with the bat but he didn't get that time in the next nets to improve as a batter which he did so all the hard work that he's put in and he's won you a match with his performance not with not just with the ball but with the bat as well and then you choose to drop i just it defeats me honestly it was as uh, even as a as a neutral observer <laughs> actually i was I'm very invested in kuldeep's career because he, i i like i like his whole like jump and all like when he jumps he goes yeah. like and then his hair flies like he's got great hair <laughs> listen let I, i i know i should yeah. be focusing on people's hair but kuldeep's hair is like the hair of a successful bowler he's got the I hair of success i promise you it's the guys with not much hair that worry yeah. about, uh, that focus a lot on hair <laughs> No, listen. You also have great hair, Maggie. <laughs> like I know you're covering it, and you got the school look of I this. Have, uh, this. I have some hair. <laughs> <laughs> you look like after this interview, you'll go out skating and stuff like that, and like go skateboarding. <laughs> which, which again, as a, as an Indian cricketer, after a point, after what happened to Ravindra Jadeja, I'm like, no Indian cricketer should be allowed near any wheels. <laughs> like that's one of those absurd thing, injuries. Yeah. Yeah, I feel bad. <laughs> that's not what you're doing. um but uh, yeah completely kuldeep cool for, for sure um and listen i, I know that uh, you don't want to get into political territory and cause uh, controversies in this country but where do you stand on the big political conversation of indian cricket which is where do you stand on sanju samson <laughs> it's like it's the most triggering like everybody has a it's it it's a it's a big opinion yeah 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 well he's one of those guys right he's he's a lot like rishabh pant who's got enormous yeah. ability enormous talent and that just hasn't come to the fore because when he started playing cricket for india he got very limited opportunities and i don't think there was a clarity in 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 communication as well with him uh, i remember there's one australia series where he said the where he was told that he was going to be back and 
you know, uh, just go ahead and play positively. You are that guy who who needs to play aggressively for us. And he just went ahead and tried to do that. And he, I think he got games, uh, got runs in one game, and then the other two games he had he had he didn't get too many runs, but he he fielded extremely well. And uh, sure sure enough, uh, after that series, he was dropped. And then suddenly yeah. he was like, "What the heck just happened?" <laughs> you know, uh, and. And that kind of happens, right, in Indian cricket. Um, uh, so, uh, and 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 that kind of creates uh, a sense of insecurity ab- about your own position and, and your approach. And you suddenly wonder, you know, what's the best approach here? Um, and uh, he's one of those guys who I truly believe deserves a lot of opportunities. And I think he is a, a match winner, as we've seen him do uh, on many occasions. And I think just a, uh, like... Like enough clarity and enough opportunity, and at the positions that you think that he will deliver for you and win matches for you, must be given. So I think he can be a great finisher. My personal opinion, I think he can be a great finisher for India after the likes of say, or, or behind the likes of uh, Hardik and Jaddu at the moment for India. I think he needs time to be developed. You can't just expect performances. Like the best finishers in the world have a record of about forty to fifty percent. You can't expect him to perform eighty percent of the time. And uh, you know, keep his spot. You need to be. As in, I think MS is someone who who performed well seventy percent of the time, and that was an exceptional career, finisher's career. So you, <clears throat> you can't you can't hold that that standard to someone who's just taken in that spot. You have to keep in mind that he bat he bats at number three or four uh, in white ball cricket domestically uh, and for RR, um, and he bats uh, in the red ball cricket again at three or four. So if, I think. If you're going to develop him as a as a finisher, you give him enough of an, of an opportunity to be able to do justice to that spot, right? Um, and now is the time where you can actually use that. So uh, if Hardik's not playing, use Sanju as your backup. Like, or if Jadu's not playing, then you make sure Sanju's there playing backup uh, finisher. Uh, so then you develop someone for that spot, right? And and I think that needs to be done. Uh, even say with the likes of Rishabh Pant, for that matter, um, I don't think there's any clarity about his position uh, whatsoever. Yeah. Um, and I think you got like he's a match winner, right? Yeah. Uh, like yeah. after Virat and Rohit go away, uh, who are your match winners? The only one you have there is Hardik Pandya, uh, KL Rahul when he comes off, um, and uh, you know KL Rahul has uh, at this point himself to blame for, like he's kind of backed himself into a corner, um, uh, and he really needs to come out punching and 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 win win a handful of matches for India and really win the faith of the people again and uh, that's that's where things are at the moment for him. But I think Rishabh Pant doesn't have clarity about his role. Uh, and I think there needs to be clarity about his role and just give him a run there uh, and don't keep chopping and changing. So if you decide in number five, then number five. If you decide in number three or four, number three or four. And I think in white ball cricket he shouldn't bat below five. I don't think he's a like I don't think he's finisher. He's a finisher at all. He's played all of his all of his career as an opening back, so I don't think. And if he's willing to go go to number four or five for you, even though it's not his natural position, I think he should be given that that run, right? Give him ten games at that position, uh, either at four or five, and then say, do do yeah. your thing for us there, you know. And same thing with 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 the likes of Sanju Samson, like give him that opportunity and say, okay, do your thing for us number six, at uh, number seven. You got ten games for us. Yeah, I mean it's it's extra. I think this is the this is the thing. Okay, like I think in the nineties, right? Indian team selection was like this doordarshan where there's like four channels. Okay, there's Sachin and three other people. Then I think in your this thing, it became like satellite TV where there's multiple. And now it's like hey, there's Netflix, there's Alt Balaji, there's this thing. And every I think even the selectors are like hey, this looks like a good show. I feel like yeah, but just finish the show you're watching right now. You know what's now, happened right? actually. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know what's happened actually. Now it's the players who aren't playing that seem more interesting than the ones who are yeah, playing. Yeah. So it's always, always about giving yeah. opportunity to that exciting youngster, but never giving enough opportunities to the guy who have actually earned their spot, right? And I think yeah. that that's a that's a key piece that they're missing, right? Um, and I think that's that's what that's what that should, that's what should that that they should be focusing on at the moment. You know, giving the guys who actually earn that spot, making it harder to get into that Indian team, especially for batters, right? Because you have a group of you have two teams worth of batters. Now, yeah. how do you utilize them and maximize that talent to be able to win championships like the World Cups and the Asia Cups and and the ICC champ, uh, you know, you know all the ICC tournaments? Now, how do you how do you nurture that? 
right so i think there's a there's a method to the madness and i don't think that there is right now uh, as in it seems very haphazard yes there is communication but there's a lot of chopping and changing and i don't think that's that's conducive in in trying to achieve to in trying to win a world cup honestly yeah it's what we discussed the last time also is about the csk model right like where you felt like i would rather be selected and stay than and have the opportunity to get a long run yeah. as opposed to not have any idea about what's going to happen um, oh yeah absolutely yeah. Uh, and, yeah. and i think that that's a that's a key missing piece um now, yeah. who feels secure within that group and that's that's a question i'd love to ask now that uh, shikhar dhawan and rishabh pant have gotten the axe from uh, why call cricket uh, who feels secure in that group so if if you're not secure what are you playing for you playing for performance or survival it becomes a very obvious question yeah by the way bushan chimorkar has said you went from netflix to alt balaji yeah those are those are the two those are the two that i focus on is angels spectrum like netflix, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the two spectrums listen i didn't say geo cinema who who uh, very excited to do in the football world cup i enjoyed the hindi commentary a lot they described uh, uh they described sorry this came by mistake uh they described um, <laughs> that was completely by mistake <laughs> they did it. Oh, maybe it is a freudian slip i don't know <laughs> 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 uh okay we have a question okay. which is coming uh, keep the super chats going and also if you're watching please do give a like because again youtube algorithms must be defeated uh we have vladimir protein who's given a super chat uh, this is the original vladimir protein protein uh, who uh, is a, a big aficionado of whey protein and other such things from russia robin do you claim the entire credit for rohit's uh, 264 uh and honestly like you we talked about being a team player right and that was one of the big examples of being a team player where you're like kar le yaar tu <laughs> like this is like you're, you're in the mo- like how, why would you stop him so it's great yeah so do you claim full credit for that uh no man as my i think i i just played a part uh honestly yeah. uh it was actually my comeback game uh and yeah. my comeback lasted three uh, two games that one in the game after that <laughs> i just scored two and a half thousand runs to get that comeback But it yeah. lasted two games. <laughs> um, <Damn> it, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think so. I had ten years, the ten overs to go when I went in a bat. I remember going in the fortieth over, and uh, uh, I just like I was batting one hundred and fifty one or one hundred and fifty two or something like when I went in a bat, and uh, I just sensed that he was at the cusp of doing something incredible in cricket, and. I love the game of cricket, and I consider myself a student of the game. Um, so for me, when when i saw that he said he said the words are doing something great here that something rare i just went in there and said bro i know you're tired but you just kick on man uh, i'll just feed you strike and, and you just go for it try and get that double hundred it's not far away and we were just speaking about the double hundred right um so i just fed him strike and uh, i think the only time i looked for a boundary was i think when i got strike on the last ball of the over or something so that i could score a few runs as well <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> and not get dropped. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's essentially what I tried to do, and, and you know, credit to him, man. And he kind of took the bowlers to the cleaners. He kind of played some absurd shots that day. Yeah. Uh, you know, he kind of he kind of flicked one from way outside off stump, just right of long on for six. And I'm like, how do you play that shot? <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, and yeah. but then you have to get to that place in your innings. to feel like you can do anything and he had gotten there already at 150 and that's why i felt like you know i got a kind of egg in on and um, at 200 i said you know bro i think there's 50 more here uh, and i said you know i'll just keep doing it and then he just kept going and it's great yeah so so so, so listen i think you deserve full credit i think uh, i think it, uh, no. it, the 200 should be expunged and given to robin othappa is uh, no listen i <laughs> Just joking. I think it's. I think it was. A, it was a terrific partnership. And I remember seeing you there and and going like, oh, this because I mean there was so much as you said, so much riding on on that dog for you as well. And then you're like, yeah, no, this is about the team, which is uh, absolutely yeah. terrific. Um, okay, this connects to. Uh, we have a question not from Rohit Sharma. I assume this is not Rohit Sharma because I think he would give more than hundred rupees. Um, this is connected to what we were discussing <laughs> earlier, which is uh, should Indians be allowed to play foreign leagues? Now everybody has an opinion. This from Zahir Khan to everybody. Zahir Khan and all say that India has enough A games and all that kind of stuff. And you retired, and now you are part of IELT 20, which I'm quite looking forward to. That should be a lot of fun. Um, 
Yeah. So, do you think A, Indians should be allowed to play in foreign leagues, and uh, B, or, or do you think that the the route that you took is the is the is the, is the one? Uh, well, see, I, I wouldn't want to ruffle feathers of the powers that be, but um, I, I I definitely it was something for me as a cricketer. Uh, it's something that I seek to do uh, genuinely, uh, even even. See, I think we, I have tried two or three times with the BCCI uh, and it's first started when about eight years ago, when I was 28 or 29, I wasn't centrally contracted. I wasn't close to being in the Indian team. I went to the BCCI and requested permission to go and play leagues outside because I, just as a cricketer, I want to expose myself to different conditions, different challenges, different cultures and, and succeed there. Because if I ever want to become a coach at some point in my life, I must have a ground to stand on to kind of, uh, you know, share my knowledge with 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 the players that I'm, I'm perhaps coaching at that point in time, and I'm truly passionate about cricket and everything to do with cricket, which is why uh, even broadcasting is so much fun for me. I actually enjoy it. It's not, it's not. I don't per- perceive it as work. It's a lot of fun. Um, I learn a lot about the game, and I think that with cricket you can constantly keep learning a lot. Um, and which is why I tried a lot. I tried thrice, and the BCCI categorically said no. Um, and my career just got to a point, I think, place where I had to take that call. And in hindsight, I probably uh, should have and would have taken that call um, after the 2021 IPL. But I think it was just CSK and the way they treated me that made me feel like, yeah, I want to come back here. Because uh, they yeah. treated me incredibly well, you know. Um, and uh, it just made me feel like, yeah, I, I want to do everything that I can do for this franchise. And, <clears throat> and I stayed on. Uh, having said that, I, I I think it should be used wisely. Um, for instance, uh, what Joe Root said, you know, oh, the World Cup's happening in India, so I'd make myself available for the for the IPL so that I get used to the conditions. Now we have a yeah. 2024 uh, World Cup happening in America and West Indies. Uh, I would think it was it would be you know an incredible idea to actually send a, a few of the cricketers that that. Give uh, give permission to a few cricketers to go and play the Caribbean League uh, later yeah. on in 2023, just to get accustomed to playing there. Uh, what the conditions will be, um, what it is to win matches, just kind of own that space, that ground, the conditions, and all of that. Um, and you have to understand that a lot of the cricket depends on the TRP. So you know that a lot of those games are going to be day games. So a lot of the Caribbean Premier League games are also day games. So sending them uh, and strategically to tournaments like that in for preparation would be a great idea. So I think if there are two ways of looking at it. How can how can it be used advantageously to 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 Indian cricket? But if they open it up to say contracted players, should they open it up to non-contracted players? And I think cricket IPL's gotten to such a great place today that no league even comes in the same realm of the IPL at the moment. Not even in the same realm. Um, it stands head and shoulders above all the other leagues in the world, and everybody wants to play the IPL, right? Because it has the big bucks and the, the level of cricket that it has. Um, <clears throat> so I think uh, there, there won't be any repercussions. Yes, uh, there could be a, there could be slight repercussions uh, in as far as you kind of weed out the guys who don't play, like who who aren't really keen about uh, red ball cricket. Uh, will that completely take out guys who like for me? I stopped playing, also stopped playing red ball cricket because I felt at 36 or 35, I'd be taking away a spot of a youngster. And someone like Rohan Kurnumel would never get an opportunity if I still chose to play red ball cricket. One of the reasons yeah. I even stepped out of red ball cricket um, was the fact that I felt a youngster should play. Because I'm not, there's no way I'm, I'm vying for a spot in the test side uh, or trying to make it big in Indian cricket. People know who I am, they know my ability and they know what I can be used for in, in, in what in what positions, in what leagues. But someone like Rohan Kunamal can play and sure enough, Rohan took that opportunity with both his hands and, and is, is up there today playing for India A and all of that. So, so <clears throat> you'll weed out those kind of cricketers and make space more for youngsters. Now, if you focus on the positives, there are a lot of positives come from it. You focus on the negatives, there's a lot of negatives to come out. It again, depends on what your perception is going to be. And I truly feel like there is a way that you can make it balanced, but I, but I just think that the first couple of years could be slightly challenging. And I'm of the belief in life and in cricket, the only way to find balance is through imbalance. 
Uh, that's the only way you're going to find balance. So you're going to go to two two ends of the spectrum first, and then you'll find okay, this works, this works, this works, and you land in the sweet spot, and then you will stay there, and you find a way to kind of expand that. And and I think that we have to do that if because you have guys come here and play a lot, right? People from all around the world come here. India is not India is not foreign anymore to the foreigners, right? Yeah. Because they come here, at least for the big cricketers around the world, it's not foreign anymore. Because they know exactly how Hyderabad is going to be. They, they know exactly how Bangalore is going to be. They know exactly how Mumbai is going to be. Exactly how Calcutta is going to be. Exactly how Delhi is going to be. Exactly how Punjab is going to be. Exactly how Gujarat is going to be. But we don't know exactly how Adelaide is going to yeah. be. Yes, maybe maybe a few cricketers. We we don't know exactly how Durban is going to be right now. We don't know exactly how uh, Port of Spain is going to be right now. You know, the only way to stay on top of that is to actually go there and have exposure. On a yearly basis, at least for some cricketers, or you're up and developing cricketers, or, or you know, so that, that's my thought process. If you wanted to serve India, oh, absolutely, and also I, I, I like the idea of like playing in. Uh, I completely because there's so much cricket happening. You forget how much uh, I forgot about the, mm-hmm. the that US and and West Indies is is hosting the World Cup, and I don't think like US grounds are like it, it would be hilarious if. Uh, Unmul Chand <clears throat> renounces his retirement, and he's like, "Hey, I'm the one with the experience, and the new captain, like, he's he's elevated, and I'd be very happy for him if that happens." But yeah, um, yeah. but to, to connect I think to, playing for USA by then, by by. Oh, that, oh that's probably yeah, yeah. It'll he be qualified to play for the states. Oh wow! So it'll be it'll be quite a telling thing if he scores a hundred against India or something like that. He's like, see. Conditions help, and then immediately BC says, "Like you know what? Unless you centrally contracted, play wherever you want. It's all good." Um, yeah. But yeah, I want to talk to you about something else, which is kind of interesting to me. I like, like I think last time we discussed where you spoke to me about uh, about how Chedeshwar Pujara, who's uh, listen, I don't think Chedeshwar Pujara gets credit for being just one of the cutest people in the world. Okay, like I mean, he's <laughs> he is he's so likable. It is like it's like how do you he dislike? Extremely likable. He's so likable. and like i can't think of a cuter cricketer in in world cricket i mean probably like kane williamson and maybe marcus stoinis or whatever but i mean he's so likable um but yeah. do you think that like when csk uh, sort of got him in the fold for the ipl last year and then this year they've taken rahane do you think that's beneficial to them with regard to like rahane is trying to make a red ball comeback for for, for a while now and he's i think just scored a century and done well uh do you think it makes more sense for rahane to go and like say play county cricket or something else or do you think this is um, it's more of a, a a sort of gesture to show that hey we're with you no i think it was a, a very strategic move uh, i think right. with with, uh, with with aju it was more about uh, having a, a solid backup opener or or two indians when they open it could be rutu and and ajinkya so i think right. it was that it was it was that move um, and and he he's got the versatility to also back up someone not just like a rutu but also like raidu so to have that indian backup opener with with experience is important and uh, ajinkya is an exceptional fielder uh, and he's also uh, he's also played under ms uh, and flem and stokesy at the uh, pune super giants in the past so there's already a sense of belonging already there within that within the seniority and the the team management group so i'm just certain that it made kind of perfect sense um right for csk to, to be able to pick him i don't think it was a, a, a gesture of goodwill at all okay uh, cuz i just think he's going through a phase where i think it happens with a lot of cricketers i've noticed this with myself as well right i think your body changes after 32 and a lot of cricketers don't kind of recognize that and it takes them a couple of years to realize that they can't push their body as much as they could before they were 30 uh, 30 uh, 20 32 or it, it 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 kind of hits you at 31 32 and you suddenly get a lot of injuries freak injuries like what the heck's going on kind of injuries right <laughs> and you, you suddenly pulled a hamstring not pulled tore a hamstring out of nowhere it's just you you've not seen it coming because you're doing everything the same way uh, yeah. your bo- your body your body changes the way it recovers changes you can't abuse your body like you have as a batter before that if you could bat for two and a half hours three hours straight before that you can't do it you got to bat for 45 minutes take a break for 10 do another 40 minutes take a break for 10 and then that's how you finish a three hour session uh, uh you know compared to doing a three hour straight session thing i'm going to bat for three hours and just bat for three hours you can't do that uh, at 32 yeah uh, and then a lot of cricketers go through that um, they see a different form and then it suddenly affects their confidence and cricket's a confidence game 
so uh, i think that's that's definitely happened with ajinkya um i don't know if he's fully fit he's got a knee issue that happened in puji uh, when they were deciding to write puji off and then he worked really hard in his fitness and and came back and understood how to kind of navigate through his preparation um and and then you got to become more cerebral with your own preparation uh, you can't you can't just go be all gongo about it and kind of you know throw all your physicality behind it um and i think that's what's happening with with ajinkya and and i think you know he's begin beginning to stack up performances he got a double hundred recently um yeah. his he had a, he had a very lean i think side mushtaq ali and and vijay azari but uh i think he's stack, stacking up performances now in ranji trophy and i think you know as he starts performing his confidence will keep building and i think it will it'll kind of uh, he'll be in a sweet spot hopefully in a sweet spot by the time the ipl comes around Yeah, and uh, Gandhar has said even uh, last season Rahane scored a fifteen in his first game for KKR. What CSK does is they will back the players even if they fail to score in a couple of games, which is again what yeah. we've discussed before. Yeah, yeah it's just um, their culture, right? Yeah, absolutely. And by the way, this is uh, I, I this is the story of the Roger Federer one, right? Like once he turned older, he decided that I'm going to sleep twelve hours a day for recovery, and I'm only going to do grand slams, uh, which is which yeah. is. Yeah, which is which is my plan as well. It didn't really pan out. I don't know why they didn't like. I don't know, but the ADP has a, has some conspiracy against me. I think. <laughs> I think that's what it is. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have made it, Robin. <laughs> One of uh, India's sure best. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I used to play tennis so badly. I I remember I I had vague, vaguely strong shoulders, so I had a good serve and I had a great forehand. I had and I had zero backhand. Okay, so I was playing against really? one of the guys who was a Not yeah. He was like I think. Slice. I I was I was a slice but it just used to drop right so it used to hit the net 90% of the time so I was playing a guy who was I think 16 rank in Maharashtra at the time and I was nothing so I was 5 to up and I was like amazing I'm like I'm going to beat the this guy and then he slowly like, he, I don't know why it took him so long to discover this guy has no back end I was like yeah. <laughs> it's been horrible so I lost I lost that match 7-5 he oh, really like, screamed at me <laughs> sorry <laughs> ंगलोटिंगलोटिंगलोटिंगलोटिंगलोटिंगलोटिंगलोटिंगलोटिंगलोटिंगलोटिंगलोटिंगलोटिंगलोटिंगलोटिंगलोटिंगलोटिंगल
Uh, okay, we'll take three last questions and then we'll bounce because I'm I'm sure you have many things to do with your life and you're very kind with your time, you know. Um, especially after after yesterday's debacle, <laughs> which is still, which is arguably one of the dumbest things I've done on the show ever. Where I have said we blocked the date and I've been like, no. You were so I know keen about date. being early. Uh, sir, you were so keen about being early. You were you were a whole day early. <laughs> so whole day early, absolutely. You started this. You were the morning show. Pehle main early jaunga. <laughs> hey, but listen, as a, as a viewer, I mean, as a viewer of this channel, some of you have got to be like, hey, we got two lives for the price of one. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, we mean, have a I lot more. Actually, one of these yeah. questions about, about I'm, I'm going to bring yeah. this question up because I read an interesting yeah. one about Rohit Sharma. Someone asked yeah. about Rohit Sharma, about, you know, his form and why he hasn't been performing well. And I think yeah. I have a theory, right? And my theory yeah. is that uh, Rohit has been playing unlike himself in T20 and right. one day cricket, Right. Rohit is a caresser of the ball, right? He, mm. He's a timer of the ball. And if you've seen over the last year since he's become captain, he's trying to muscle it because they have decided they're going to play um, a, a complete kind of pro-aggressive method, like a hyper-aggressive kind of cricket, right? Like the, like the English play. I don't think that's the way that fits the Indian model, right? I think every batsman had a, has a method to their madness and Rohit's method to his madness that has brought him omens of success is the fact that he's been a timer of the ball, takes his time, holds one end up, and then goes off after the bowl, goes off after the bowling after the after his, after his 50 runs. Right. And we've seen that even a one-day cricket where he takes 70, 80 balls for his first 50 runs, one takes another 20 balls, 30 balls to get to hundred, and he's already at 120 of 110 balls, 140 of 110 balls. He has the ability to do that, but he's not doing that. He's gone against his own grain that works for him, which is why I think he's not performing as well as he is. The minute I think he goes back to that mode of playing, I think he will be super successful and he'll come back to being the match winner that he is. Yeah, and also, I mean, I think in that match against Bangladesh where he came at the end and almost almost got India home out of a completely unlikely scenario, it almost felt like he's thrown in, in, in like a completely new depth and uh, had to pull himself out. I really enjoyed that knockout. It was a, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, he, like, like, see, that's the thing, right? Yeah. I think he, he's great, un, great under pressure and putting pressure back on the bowlers. He just needs enough time in the middle. And the thing is, he's not giving himself that because he needs, as he's trying to lead from front as a leader, which is great. But is it serving Indian cricket? I don't think so. Because we saw in the World Cup as well that, that you know, you knew that he's, like, it's not Rohit. Like he's just trying to muscle and kind of get into every ball and it just doesn't look the same. You know, it doesn't feel the mm. same. Bro, it's like, you know, he's got time, like time the ball here. He'll pick up a ball, hit him for six. You know, he'll like, and then he'll rotate the strike. He'll defend a few balls. He'll take his time with the spinners. But once they come back on for the second spell, he'll take them to the cleaners. And and that's what's brought him success. And I truly hope, you know, genuinely as, as a supporter of Rohit Sharma and someone who's, who's, who's played with him, that he goes back to what works for him. <clears throat> Yeah, and I mean, Rohit and ODI is, I mean, this without question, man, just like, it's a joy to watch. Like, you just never, and you just keep waiting for when this, will this be 200? Every every second match he's playing, he's like, will this be 200? He's like, dude, chill out, man. Let me, let me score 70 for my take first. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, so Susmit yeah. uh, Takavikar has said, which, uh, thanks for your super chat, brother, says, which IPL team looks more balanced post auction? Why do you think we are unable to win major ICC uh, trophies even after playing great whole tournament? I think the second part you uh, you spoke about briefly, but I've already uh, answered. About, yeah, I think yeah, I touched yeah. upon that. I think I think it's the fact yeah. that we don't have too much exposure to these different conditions on a year-to-year basis, right? And I think that's one of the yeah. reasons, and also the chopping and changing. So there's a combination of a few things, right? And I think uh, there's too much chopping and changing. There's no consistency with who's going to play. There's not necessarily security as to, like for me, Yuzi Chahal not playing the World Cup completely baffled. Like he was yeah. the number one spinner before before going into going to the World Cup, and uh, the fact that uh, you know I met him during the first game and I wished him luck. I said, "Bro, I said, have fun, man. Smash it. These grounds will help you because you can toss it up a little bit. People will slice it. It's air. It's windy. You'll get wickets here. Like I'm not playing. Yeah. Bro. Like ooh, damn. I was like okay, I, like I, you know, I, I I hope I hope you play. And he didn't play the rest of the tournament. I was like, how? Yeah. Like yeah. what? What justifies that? Right? And and we were the only team in the World Cup that didn't play a leg spinner. Yeah. Even the Associate Nations played a leg spinner. Yeah. But and we, I think ja- you know, Jared so, Kimbers and I think, did, did a yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Huh. And, and I think it's it's that. It's it's kind of it's those kind of things, right? 
and basically it sends a message not just to one person but it sends it sends a message to the group as well which is what kind of bothers me and i think uh, as as team management you need to kind of send the right messages to like even if you're sending a message to like even if you're communicating with one person and spinning something down to him you got to make sure that everyone in the group understands what's happening and everyone in the group feels secure because security yeah. breeds performances insecurity breeds survival oh wow what a line oh my god that's an amazing line man that's a straight out I of just like came up uh, with that yeah it's it, it, it this is this should be the tagline for bear grill is <laughs> it's like <laughs> he's out of the woods <laughs> <laughs> okay last uh, we'll take the last two questions uh, thank you so much for time thanks for everybody watching um, <laughs> akil pishrodi says uh, okay this is a fairly dumb question but let's go for it he says who was your batman and who who, who were your teen titans what i don't even understand What's the question do you teen titan no that is the one of the superhero yeah yeah who's your, who's your, who's your batman in what superhero? context though <laughs> i don't know okay, man that's a that's a very pishrodi question man <laughs> <laughs> hey we should be uh, and then we'll we'll play that video of that I guy like who started surname. say his surname yeah yeah it's a great surname yeah. um okay, okay this is the last question it. yeah oh yeah that guy that uh, that video man <laughs> where people yeah, are like you're saying it wrong he's like let me say it how i want to <laughs> that's also a choice i am that's my name i'm saying how i like they're like no you're saying your own name wrong it's <laughs> absurd video okay uh, last question for the day anmol kumar my old friend is uh, uh, says fondly nicknamed the walking assassin is there a bowler today bowler today you would like to do the same to and one bowler you'd fear doing that oh man uh bowler today i'd like to do it to uh bumrah uh definitely um uh, bumrah is a very clever bowler so uh, I, I, He 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 he's got those. I tried doing it to him in 2018. I was playing for KKR when I had that horrible game against uh, Mumbai Indians where I was trying to score runs. I wasn't scoring. Yeah. Like I was like I got them 47 or 40 balls and trying to put like yeah. I just wasn't I wasn't scoring runs. I wasn't getting out. It's like nothing was working that day. It was just such a terrible day in the office. And that day I tried yeah. like I threw everything at him. Like I walked. I stood back. I tra- like I tried. It did nothing work. But he's very clever. He kind of changes up things in the last minute. So. Um, Yeah, um, him, Bumi, for sure. I'd love to try it. Yeah. Uh, one bowler, fear trying to do it too. Oh man, as in one bowler, when you say fear, for me, Kurtley Ambrose. I would have loved to face oh. him. Uh, but just imagining, just kind of visualizing doing that, walking out yeah. to Kurtley Ambrose from that height. Oh man, isn't, isn't wise. I've actually had a concussion uh, trying to do that uh, in an RCB practice game. I was playing for RCB. Back in 2010, it's funny today, but like I, I, I saw life flash in front of me back then. So I remember it was some bowler from Assam. Uh, we were playing a practice game uh, for RCB in 2010, uh, when I, the year that I first joined RCB, and uh, I was opening the batting, and I was like, I'm going to walk out first ball of the match, and uh, he, I walked out just a little early. I timed that just a little early, so he banged it in short. So immediately, you know, with as with instant, I went to pull the ball, and I, I played it early. So I turned, I finished my shot already, and came and hit me here. Oh man! Uh, on the side of my neck, and then I just, like, I went limp. I collapsed. Like I went limp, and I was like, I can't feel anything. I can just like it's just all white and hazy. And like in my head, it was like, drop to your knees, Robin. Drop to your knees, Robin. Drop to. And I just dropped to my knees, and I just felt life come back into me. And then uh, I had a proper concussion. I was taken to hospital. and um, yeah it took me a cup uh, a year i think no it took me that whole season to get over that fear because i kept i had to confront that fear over and over again then i had to start walking down to all bowlers i walked out to lasit malinga in that in that season i walked out to ryan harris in that season in south africa just to overcome that fear um then because when when you get hit playing your trying doing your favorite shot it instills a kind of fear in you and because you don't yeah. want to go to that to the edge there right and uh, but i had to overcome it you have to face it you have to kind of put yourself out there so i had to keep shedding light on it keep going and trying it out trying it out trying it out trying it out and i overcame the fear again uh, at some point that season it took me the whole season uh, in the finals i was able to score a couple of sixes walking out to ryan harris um, and yeah but that actually happened Oh man, that I I can completely imagine the fear. Like yeah, I mean I think we disregard the fear and the human factor to to getting hit like yeah. that. Like um, like so, Will so, Pekowski, uh, yeah, who's been hit like uh, I don't know how yeah, many times. Pekowski yeah. and even Phil Hughes for that matter, right? As yeah, yeah, happened. Yeah. I I could so relate because I, it happened to me. 
but thank god that uh, uh, here i am uh, 12 years 13 years later with my family and two kids and i was a single boy back then uh, but but uh, you know it, it just I literally i just felt like life flash before me when that happened in that moment and Oof. and when i got fell to my knees like i just felt life like i just felt all the energy go back into my into my body um and i could i couldn't feel my arms everything went limp right like it just went limp like that my back just kind of plopped out of my hands and i was out of the case obviously and then they were trying to get me run out when when i went back down when i hit the ground i could feel like get him out get him out get him out but i was trying to reach but body wasn't moving at all and i just kind of sat oh, there um my god It's too yeah. much. <clears throat> It's too. I mean, the 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 day. Do my son has been? He's just gotten into cricket right now, and he he keeps asking about concussions all the time. Like he's constantly no, like. So I have to keep. Yeah. See, see, these are these are a few yeah. and far in between, and they happen, right? And yeah, uh, yeah, it's also not. It's also important to not make. And we Indians don't make big deal. Don't make a big deal about a lot of things. And I think it's a blessing in disguise, honestly, because sometimes the more yeah. you focus on it, the more it kind of manifests in your life. um and i think it's best not to give it too much of it like like yeah deal with it when 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 it happens and then kind of move on and get past it and try and kind of make it as normal as possible absolutely robin it's been a pleasure i know you you have children in the background uh, saying uh, come to us robin come let us go to various <laughs> places in the, in dubai and see the i'm fl- happy to do a couple more is- questions if you want to yeah oh let's do it yeah sure i mean i, I, I have a question which which came to me right now So you know that knock, the forty-seven or forty that you're talking about, right? Where because even I remember watching that knock, and I was like, I think even as a viewer, you're like feeling bad because you're like, obviously this is like, you're, it's like you're stuck in quicksand and you're trying and it's just yeah. it's not happening and you're trying yeah. everything. If you were to relive that particular knock, like what would you do sort of differently, both uh, uh, mentally as well as like, uh, I mean, obviously it all it's all mental, but but like, what would you do differently in that particular knock? I probably would would just try to rotate the strike. um and just kind of give strike speed strike to the other batters cuz and acknowledge that you know it's not working for me today um and just kind of ease off um and genuinely it's just one of those days where it was a bad day in the office it was nothing more than that yeah uh, when i look back at it i know it's just a bad day in the office and uh, a lot of people have that where you try to do everything right you try try your best to make things work on that particular day but just you just don't do it it just doesn't happen and you can't do anything about it and it's just one of those days and and you take it in your stride for me i took it in my stride because i know that my work or my bad day in the office has like a billion people who who witness it who see it and who have an opinion about it whereas yeah. uh, for someone working in the corporate industry probably they don't have that maybe you have 10 people witnessing it and they, and they'll empathize with you um i had a lot of people empathizing with me but i had a lot, had a lot more people hating me for it for the next couple of months social me- i went off social media for about 2 or 3 months after that because because of the kind of hate that i was receiving some of the hate was directed towards my family uh and you know the the the, the usual shebang where you know it's just grotesque in that sense um and just made me look at life very differently i think in, you know, in hindsight it was good learning for me uh to not take um you know the the attention and and, and adulation in, in on social media uh, very seriously and just take it with a pinch of salt know that people treat you well when you're doing well and they don't when you're not doing well and it's not like you didn't know that but the extent of it uh was very real at that point but the only thing i would do differently is just keep things simple uh, sometimes when you're trying too hard you don't do the basics right and that day i didn't do the ba- the most basic thing right i didn't watch the ball out of the bowler's hand and uh, yeah. if i had to go go back uh, that's one thing i would do just watch the ball because right? when i did do that it's not like i didn't hit didn't hit sixes that day didn't score on that i hit bumi for i think two sixes in 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 that game um I, and uh, i i i actually hit bowlers for, like i end up scoring 47 to 40 balls when when you look at it at the end of the innings it's not it's not great but it's not bad um hmm. but it didn't serve the team so i didn't do those 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 small things right if i just watched the ball out of the bowlers hand probably would have hit the ball a lot better yeah uh, okay so i i want to talk to you about the the ipl auction because everybody is a lot of people asking about uh, csk thoughts which is the question that has been asked by id you know, I, I, i like the this is such a succinct question like csk thoughts like just CSK, overall <laughs> i i am ecstatic for for csk i think yeah. we have uh, yeah, you know have got away with it in the in the auctions Uh, I don't yeah. understand it, Sarich. 
I, I don't. You know, I, I, it's, it's beyond <laughs> me, right? Like they have a good yeah. side. They don't have a single all-rounder in that side. It, yeah. it, it is beyond me how you have the most first in, in an IPL auction and you don't get, yeah. um, you know, probably one of the three most talked about all-rounders at this point in time in, in international cricket, right? How do you not go after Sam, Sam Karan? Like how, yeah. how, how do you not? How do you not go after Ben Stokes? Like, what is yeah. your justification? Like, uh, the only justification that I've heard or heard or understood as of now is that, oh, we have the impact player rule, so we don't need an all-rounder. Which team doesn't need an all-rounder? I don't get it. Like, you have four foreign players. You said you're saying you don't need one all-rounder out of that. It yeah. it defeats it defeats common sense for me. Um, but man, what a blessing for CSK. I'm damn happy for us that <laughs> yeah. we got we got we got Ben Stokes, like a Ben Stokes on our side, and we got yeah. Kyle Jamieson for a crore. What's wrong? Oh, with dude, people? that's like, yeah, yeah, that's oh, 100%. Steal, brother. That is that's, that's 100%. Brother, that's that's robbery in broad daylight, right? <laughs> Kyle's coming yeah. off an injury, so be it. But we have we have information like CSK have information that uh, he's he's fine, he's fit, he's doing well. So you know that if he has a good season and you have a player who can play for you for the next seven or eight years, so you've yeah. covered your 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 um. Uh, you're fa- you have a foreign fast bowler. You have an all-rounder who can fill in the shoes of uh, Bra- uh, Dwayne Bravo. You have a finisher yeah. in, in the depth for you. With with the uh, with the and he's t- he's a tall fast bowler, man. Oh my God! Well, I, I I actually thought he'd go for about eight or nine or ten crores. Oh, for sure. For yeah, for sure. Yeah. And now, like, and more than more than Stokesy for me, the fact that you got. Kyle Jamieson for for a crew. I was like, what? I was in the studio. I was like, yes, yes, yes. I was going ballistic. I was so happy. <laughs> yeah. Then you try and high five him, but it's very fast. <laughs> you just have to wait. Uh, but yeah, yeah but there are some like... there are some bowlers yeah. that 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 all the teams have missed. Huh? There's some young South African fast bowlers who are in the mix. Brother, yeah. I'm telling you, they are such good fast bowlers. I think they'll be like. Some left arm fast bowlers tall, huh? and uh, Duan Jansen's gotten picked, but there are a couple yeah. more from South Africa um, mm-hmm. who are who are incredibly good. Uh, watch out for this guy called Nandre Berger. He is so good, and I think he's got potential to become one of the greats um, and become a superstar even in cricket in the future. He must be 22, 23. There's Gerald Coetzee mm-hmm. as well, who's again exceptionally good. Um, and you'll see now a lot of the Indian teams have franchises all around the world, so they will come around in the IPL at some point, for sure. Yeah, like there's also so much reason. And remember, I said options. it first. Yeah, yeah, we'll remember on, on, this on is, your uh, show. I'll save this, and then then when he takes like seven wickets against India, we'll all be like, blame Robin. He's the one who called this. <laughs> <laughs> it's all his fault. <laughs> uh, but the, the recency bias, like Harry Brook, who has a pretty good T20 record, right? I mean, he has a strike rate of 138 and I think, yeah. But 14 crores because he scored three centuries against Pakistan in test matches after a point. I'm like, that's a lot, dude. What are you doing? Bro, see, the thing is, uh, the justification was he's played cricket in the subcontinent. Where is he played in Pakistan? Pakistan are all yeah. flat, placid wickets. They are, yeah. they are good for fast bowling. Indian wickets are so different. I don't know how they justify that, that, that buy. 13 crores. Yeah. Now, where are you going to play him? SRH, where are you going to play him? You have Glenn Phillips, who's been performing exceptionally well in T20 cricket, who's done well yeah. for, for SRH. You have uh, Aiden Markram at the top of the order. And then you have uh, uh, who, who else uh, do they have? At, uh, they have uh, Marco Jansen. And they have yeah. uh, uh, somebody else. Yeah. One more fast bowler, if I'm not wrong. Uh, let's see. I'll try and get or the a, team. Or a batter, or a batter, or a batter. They have another. Wait, wait. I, I have the team, bro. I've done like full research on. This. Yeah, I mean, you've done like full. Like, I, I, you're mentioning players, and I'm like, do they? Yes, I'm sure. Okay, I guess he's right. Look, I don't even. I think this. This only thing I'm getting is that Aiden Markram. They are trying to look at it from a leadership right. POV. Okay, so so now yeah. they have yeah Aiden Markram, right? Yeah. Now they have yeah. uh, Abhishek Sharma and Mayank Agarwal. They got Mayank Agarwal. So Mayank Agarwal opener yeah. Abhishek Sharma. That's sorted. Yeah. So you have Rahul Tripathi yeah. at number three. That's sorted. Aiden Markram at four. Glenn Phillips at five. Abdul Samad at six. Right. Marco yeah. Jansen at uh, eight. Now where will you play Harry Brook? Will you play yeah. him in 
like you will will you play him instead of aiden markram no will you play him yeah. instead of glen phillips no no so where will you play him how will you fit him the only way you can play him is to use him as an impact player ah that's But the only that's way you the, can play him yeah yeah right so and then, and then it comes back to you yeah wouldn't you rather have uh, see someone like a ben stokes in here who's leadership material they wanted leader they wanted opening batsman they wanted someone all and an all rounder covers three spots bro three spots yeah. for them they want a leader here ben stokes could have come and led or he could have been vice captain aiden markram could have led so and then if I mean, he's done well gets into the franchise does well the first season give him captaincy and you have a captain for four yeah. or five years then you have you had opening bat he loves to open the batting in t20 cricket because he's otherwise he hovers between 1 and 7 you know wherever is needed wherever is more pressure you throw him in you know uh, but you give him a permanent spot at opening the batting that covers a spot for you so you have your four and then he can bowl for you as well with marco yansen would have yeah. been ideal for them but that's not how they decided to go They're like okay let's go the impact player route yeah as such it has been it's been some some fairly absurd things happening there for the last couple of years i mean listen i'm still open to doing corporate shows for srh and getting sponsorships but uh, guys um, just uh, see and that would be that would follow the trend of them doing absurd stuff is <laughs> to, to sponsor me <laughs> and call me <laughs> 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 um robin man thanks a lot is always a pleasure talking to you um it's uh, just a delight and thanks for uh, for coming on the the the, the correct day the day that this was supposed to happen for <laughs> yeah and thanks I, uh, man have a, this is fun yeah i have a great day with the family out there you, you're there at the perfect Thank time you. and december uh, we went to uh, in feb we went to um, what's that garden man the the Uh, there's a, there's a, the the garden which is called something in in dubai and ev- there's like a plane made out of flowers and you're like that oh. would be enough in any other place but then they have like i think that's a, a flower show made. right no no it's a, it's a separate garden it's called miracle garden miracle garden is what what it's called i took the kids it was okay. very interesting and yeah it was it was it was du- it was dubai going like you know what how everything they do excessively including photosynthesis when they like let's not have one plane we have flowers let's just go full on and it's great fun i really enjoyed it so yeah so have a, have a good one there man thanks buddy thank you so much this is a lot of fun thank you take care you, absolutely sir. robin have a good one in the ilt 20 as neil well bye bye see you neil bye bye, bye. have a good day and so i'm waiting bye. for the for the balls to be sent anil the the 87 yeah, balls as we discussed as per plan you're going yeah. yeah you're going to send him the balls right yeah <laughs> only not some only six balls Ah. I'm running. I'm running out of balls. He's running out of balls. Julia, Julia. Uh. You're going to send him six balls. Right? No, no, six. You said six. So keep your word. Yeah, you said six. Five. But you can keep your word, right? You said six balls. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. You'll send six balls for to become Aditya. Yeah. Then by then, I only have no balls. <laughs> I don't believe. It. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see, bye. Bye. Bye, Neil. See you, Robin. Thanks See a lot bye. for coming, brother. Bye. I'll just say some goodbyes bye. and stuff like that here. See ya. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. All right. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Really appreciate uh, you all joining up. Uh, and uh, yeah, I have no shows, nothing to promote, but uh, we have uh, lives popping up constantly. And again, um, uh, full uh, happy vibes and recovery vibes to Rishabh Pant. Uh, I think Robin was also quite um, shaken by the whole news because he hung out with him. We've spoken about it up top in the show. um and yeah i think there's a lot of uh, weird stories popping up about that i hope he's fine um and yeah join me on my telegram channel i've just started it to try and uh, because i couldn't understand how discord works uh, so this is a telegram channel and a telegram chat group you can check out either of those and again subscribe to the channel give a like if you enjoyed this yeah come on give a like i have no shows at the moment but i'm sure they'll pop up at some stage and i think the first live of 2023 will mostly be rahul subramanian and uh, kumar varun which should happen at some stage do i might just do something on 31st uh, or, or 30th and um, yeah also big big thanks to you know uh, some advertisers here we have a triple x 20. fun saying free vert girls chat here love um, so i mean like i mean if it's free love love should be free usually i mean i don't know whatever whatever makes you happy everybody and <laughs> And seriously, Blue says, "Shout out the Blue." Listen, I'm not going to say it, but come on, I was a, that was a big mistake on my part. <laughs> so yeah, I will, I will, uh, I will uh, come back with more stuff. Hopefully, I might do something on 31st as well. Maybe uh, during the day, I might 
I'm trying to see if I can get the EIC boys together and 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 try and do that. Anyway, give a live. Thanks a lot to everybody who super chatted as well. And uh, take care of yourselves. Have a good evening. Love you all. Marry me. Goodbye, friends.